Hey guys, I'm trying something new because everybody that watched my videos lately been telling me that I say hey y'all a lot. So, hey guys, this is just my game day, my mat, my cute, the look that everybody's been asking like, how do you stay so mad in that heat? How do you, you must not sweat in your face? How do you do this? How do you do that? Blah, blah, blah. This is just everything that I did. Um, It's very detailed to me. I don't usually like talking in videos like this or like filming makeup videos like this but y'all asked for it. i told y'all all the tips and tricks that i do and what works for me basically i hope this video was very helpful for you guys if i forgot to show any products or explain anything you can always dm me on snapchat or instagram or just comment down below and tell me what you do and tell me if this works for you um but yeah this is just my game day face i hope you guys like it and i'll see y'all in my next video peace Hey y'all, so before I get started, I'm just going to explain to y'all the first few products I use before I actually get started. Ooh, I should show y'all my moisturizer. So today we have uh, like our scrimmage, first like scrimmage basketball little game or whatever to like promote the team and introduce the players or whatever. So I really, I'm not going to go as hard as I really usually would if we had a football game, but I still wanted to show y'all all the products I use. This is the moisturizer I use. This is the Neutrogena Health Defense Daily Moisturizer with SPF 50. And I use this one because my mama got it for me. And two, it just moisturizes the skin. It does give you like a little oily like residue, but that's fine. I use my primers to help suck that up. So first, I have the Pore Filler by NYX and the L'Oreal Infallible Matte primer i use this on like mainly on the outside of my face and where i get oily just because it keeps all of that under control and then that used to do the job for me but during this season i noticed that my nose and my pores right here kind of separate the makeup so i've been using this and i've been noticing like a little difference and it works so i'm going to apply all of these do my eyebrows then i'll be back and explain to y'all everything else after that So, I use the Ardell Dip Brow Pomade just because this is very waterproof. It doesn't really move anywhere unless I, the only part that tends to rub anywhere is this area right here. And I'll insert a picture of that so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So, for the concealer that I use, I use, this is Fawn. I usually use Warm Honey now because Fawn oxidizes a little too um, orange for me outside but i think since we're going to be inside today i'm going to be okay and i use the ruby kisses concealer brush and then this dense luxie 140 detail taper blending brush i use this just because it's so dense and it's able to blend everything out but before i do that let me set my primer so i set my primers with the Too faced translucent powder in medium i'm going to open my real technique sponge and just use this. It's so squishy. This is my first time using this. I usually use the one I have from Forever 21. So I used to put the powder on and let it sit on my face until I conceal my brows and blah, 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 blah. But I noticed that was drying me out and making me feel like, you know, like a little too fast. And I didn't really like that. So I'm going to take it and use now this flat part i guess and just you know like push it into the skin just to give me that nice matte base but not with the really super dry skin so now i don't have like super oily skin i have like combination to um combination really combination i was gonna say combination to dry but not really and i just do this step as like a security blanket for the sweat or the oils or whatever i usually do this part way before i start filling in like before i fill in my brows but it's okay i'm just gonna conceal right over it i make sure i get all of my temples because this routine also depends on where you sweat i do not sweat in my face like right here at all but i do sweat in my hair which can tend to get on my sideburns and all of that so i make sure i pay attention to every place that i sweat 
the most to try to get it so one tip when you have this translucent powder on your face already and you go to blend your concealer for your brows just me personally it's a lot easier blending the concealer out I don't know if that rules applies to everybody else but that's just for me now one thing i was going to say this routine is very mad it can kind of be very drying meaning that if you don't wash and exfoliate your face and get all like that dead skin off you it will start to flake up i don't know if y'all can really you can't really tip i don't know if you can see it on camera but sometimes my skin does kind of flake up because like i was saying earlier i do have oily to dry combination skin so it just depends on the day if that happens i just go in with my moisturizer and like pat it in you know dig the flakes off it's just dead skin it's okay so brows i can seal face looks ashy excellent that's great now these are like my holy grails i will tell everybody to go run and get these in a heartbeat like go get them no, I don't really like MAC sometimes because of their customer service, but nobody really has not beat when it comes to their powder, um, foundation, formula, whatever you want to call it. I use two shades, NC47 and NC55, because 47 is more orange and it matches the outside of my face. This is my perfect color in the summer versus NC55. It's more lighter. I'm going to show y'all. It's lighter. It's more on the... Ooh. On the yellowy side, this is 55, 47. It's yellow, more olive undertones, which is really my real undertone. As you can see, it's real golden, olivey, cool versus orange. But I love this. I put it on the outside just to give me that color. And then I'm going to put the NC55 on my eyelids. Then I take 55 with a denser brush. This is the BH Cosmetics brush in 31. Take this and I'm going to put this around my eyes. Most people tell me I don't have dark circles, but I feel like I do. So I put this around my eyes just to keep that area bright, you know, as if I was highlighting and contour and just to balance my face out and even it all out. Now, since I would normally be outside, be in the sun, sweating, since the concealer is the only liquid I use, I set this with a light, lighter powder than me. This is the Better Skin Powder in 95. I used to just do this whole routine powder, like with powder. I used to just conceal my brows with this, but I don't like doing that anymore because I do like the sculpted brow look. I do like my brows to be defined. So you do need that concealer. So I'm just packing this on like a dense little short little brush. And I'm just going under and setting that concealer because I don't really mind the like highlighted under brow. And so, as you can see, everything is nice and matte and covered. And I just go over with my big brush just to make sure everything is all blended out. So next, I haven't tried any high end you know like sweating sprays i really don't use really much high-end makeup products but this is just a wet and wild matte finishing spray now mind you this is you know when the setting sprays are matte nine times out of ten it has alcohol in it a lady from ulta told me that so this is very alcoholic but it does a job it gets it done my face stays matte throughout the whole day now i am going to spray my face enough for it to be damp and then i'm going to go in with this brush and pat it dry Pat your face dry. And I usually sometimes go in and highlight when I want like a natural, more subtle, like, oh, glow from within. But again, we're going to be inside today, so I can glow a little more. So I used to do the Ardell Mink Lashes, False Mink Lashes in like 817. It's a very tiny lash, but I'm going to switch to these lashes. These are the lashes I actually had on my birthday vlog on the actual day of my birthday when I had the clown. I mean, the crown, the black bodysuit, all of that. These are a little more dramatic, but I feel like the thing is when you're taking pictures and when I'm being photographed, when I used to put on coats and coats of mascara, no mascara can compare to 
a good lash. I'm sorry, y'all, my nose tickle. So being photographed, since my eyes are small, just personally for me, I have to put on a lash. I have to put on something that's going to make me, you know, pop just a little, a little more than usual. So like I said, I use, I'm going to use these. These are in 112. They're dramatic for me, but not as dramatic for some people. Like my friends will be like, oh my God, Tiff, those aren't even dramatic. But for me, they're dramatic. I, I like this highlight because in the sun and in pictures, it looks very cute. It's very subtle. So I'm going to highlight with this and then apply my lashes. Because I have to go in the bathroom and apply my lashes. And real talk, I don't feel like getting up right now. Applying highlight after you use spray is like 10 times cuter. It ends up 10 times more. So this is the part of doing makeup that nobody really told me about. But I am not the best at applying lashes. I'm just going to be honest. I miss all of the time. I did good on this eye today. But if you can look on the top of this eye, I got a little bit of glue up there. So what I do is take my concealer brush that has a little bit of old concealer on it. And I just go over the line. And I go over the line to try to clean up that glue. And this is the lash glue that I use. This is the I Envy. And I like this because it comes with like a felt tip. And I used to apply my lash glue on like eyeliner and then put the lash on top of that. Now, don't get me wrong. That's a lot easier. But after these long games, don't nobody feel like cleaning up all that lash glue. Because this lash glue stays on for days, y'all. Like. So after a game, I be being lazy. I don't be wanting to clean it up, and that's not cute. So I just went back to the regular way. Now one of my like makeup pet peeves that girls do is leave. Do not put mask. They don't be putting mascara on their um, lashes to blend them in. And me personally, that's just one thing I can detect. That's just I don't know if y'all can see, but. I don't like that look. So I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black just because this is the blackest mascara that I've ever seen and it works. So I go up under and I make sure I blend my real lashes with the fake ones. And if y'all ever see me on a picture where you can see the not blend, you can call me out just because I said this. So what I do now, personally, since I didn't go back over my eye with the NC55 after I set the spray, my eyes are just not bright enough for me. So I'm going to take a brush and just use the NC55 to brighten them up on the top, not the bottom. Because like I said, sometimes that does drown me out. So, now, usually, I will put on lipstick at this point, but I'm not going straight to the game yet. So, this is just my game day face, a.k.a. my regular day face, because this is also, like, a quick face for me. This is something I usually do on the regular. Um, Like I said, I don't, I didn't used to wear lashes these dramatic, but... Really, I'm just trying out something for today's game. This is just the face, honey. Okay, so I told y'all, like, we have a game today for real. So, well, not a real game. I'm being dramatic. So, I do chestnut ooh, around. I always make sure I have, like, a Vaseline or something on before I do it. Then I take the ruby wool and blend that out, even though... This is blended real nice already. Sometimes this step is unnecessary. And then I go in with the lipstick. I told y'all somebody left my ass. So like I said, y'all see how like our red isn't like a real ruby woo ruby woo red of course i had to do the bobby pins that's a part of my game day routine the closure looks a lot better i put powder on it and yeah cut back to the outro because i was about to do an outro right here 
<laughs> or I could, but the lighting is not the best. Cut back to my outro. So I hope you guys like it. I hope this is very detailed enough for you. Like I said, this is just my game day matte face. Y'all been asking for it. Here it is. All drugstore, mostly drugstore, real cheap, inexpensive makeup that I found what works for me. I hope you guys like it, and I hope this was helpful, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.